I have, there's the loop, there's this gigantus MCS, dry slot, loads coming out, watch out for redevelopment here, MCS, I'm not going to chase, to stabilize the air, right? Watch for redevelopment. Why? So you've seen Dr. Ford talk about coal pools coming over the work over here. You get a little bit of upslope coming up there. It's all about relativity. The thing that Einstein invented. It also works for supercells. It's relativity. If you're 85 on the temperature and 75 on the dew point, oh, that's a good thing. But if you're 65 on the temperature and 55 on the dew point, that's also a good thing. You just don't want 85 or 55. All right, so there you go. Redevelop, bam. They say bam, bam. Works its way all the way down. All right, so here, once again, this is I-20. This is big spring. This is uh, 87 right here. Get you on there. So we just buzzed out Carson Eads and I to 87 here. We're going to go up north here. We want to watch this new cell that developed, but we also want to watch this. But it's all moving kind of east northeast. Here we go. 344. Oh my gosh. So we're just here in time. Holy cow. What is happening here? Yeah, it's like, hello, Marshall. I'm the hook. So here we go. Look at the old X. All right. That's where you want to be. Well, there's some kind of rotation, not a whole lot, but there's some kind of rotation. All right, where's my cheeseburger? How many of you put your cheeseburger in the ashes? <laughs> Fantastic! All right, we've got a uh, rain pool there moving out. We've got a lot of low clouds here. Well, at least the cloud bases are low. Gus made me things, calling, spotters are calling these wedge tornadoes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, we were in the rain, core, yeah, 
Yeah, sure, go ahead, get your act together, okay? <laughs> we break on out and we see this, you know, core and a beautiful rotation, tight coming in here. We thought, uh oh, tea time soon. Here we go. Where are we? 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 We're up here, okay? We can see through the precinct. As it busts on through, we can see the tail again coming in here. Rotation there. Bust right through into the traffic in Garden City. We double the size of the population of that county. <laughs> yeah, long traffic. I was going to start selling hot dogs. Uh, then, you know, broad scale, nothing tight. So what we're saying, dust swirl, spiders saying, turn it on the red, dust world. No, it's R.I.P. dust. <coughs> Nice hook though, stretched out, to the tail end of that hook. Where are we? We are at the tail end of the hook. I mean, it's like right overhead. And that hook just kicked us to the east. Literally. It's like Pong here. We're playing Supercell Pong. And I'm the target, getting kicked to the east. Right as of now, even a fold of velocity, and we thought, uh oh, tornado time is any minute right there. It should have done it. But there's too much. Here's the view to the west. Garden City is out here, way too much precip here, even though it's a nice rotation, it just couldn't tighten up. It's a real big thing. Yeah, nice hail pour. So now we're uh, going ahead, moving east with the hook. It's wrapping up, it's folding on up. You know what happens to stretched out hooks? They do come back on up like that. So that's this circulation, and another one comes on down here. It looks like something back here. So we're getting over towards Sterling City. Another hook, again, X marks the spot, we're over here. Why? Well, we have to refuel, we're on empty. We're at the gas station. <laughs> Always when there's a hook back over at the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, anyways, we brought south of Sterling City, you see this. Uh, the action area is actually here, not here. This is the, the kind of a, for, uh, a forward cloud feature, so that's the area there. So we're uh, up in the rain here again, having to get south. And uh, given that distance now, the world was the same, getting down to San Angelo, the mesocycle really can't be resolved because, again, there's a conic section, right? Looking up in the elevation, all right? But we are, there is a, a broad meso on San Angelo, which is a little closer. Oh, but hold up my bag window, I see this. It's a tornado! <laughs> Absolutely! It's a tornado! Paul sees this, Brian Williams also sees it. <laughs> Stretched out linear alpha contamination. So, you know, observe two long lived supercells. It's great, but one's tornadic. Uh, the first storm initiated over the Big Springs and the west. Storms traveled southeast between right movers, but they were HP. But at least we were on the storms of the day, right? Nothing else in the United States because there were no other TV boxes. Nothing. Of course, in North Dakota. <laughs> Yeah, this happens to 
Maybe. Uh, so Roger's taking a quarter or so. So here's what I got. I'm in Dallas, Texas. I can't be in Nebraska for a couple of right? But we've got this cold front, which is unusual in June. We've got the stationary boundary. And I think, you know, something south of there, if this all gets its act together, could be it happening. We have 77 dew points, 74 dew point. I mean, this is hot and steamy. And over here, it's just playing hot. 93, 102 out there. So something could happen. This could be a you know a high K event day. Now believe it or not, Rich Thompson isn't here, right? right? You go to the SPC event page, you won't ever find this case. It's not there. It's a non-event. So I had to hand draw these maps. These are all hand drawn. <laughs> SPC map, folks. Yeah, you go on for something. No, okay. Here, 850 millibar, 7 a.m. Uh, you know, it's like this. Not too much going on, it's what you expect for middle of June. 25 knots in Del Rio, 25 knots in Midland, here we are. Um, you're looking at uh, 7 a.m. here. So, oh, we had some convergence going on there, yeah. Look at 300 millibars. Well, northwesterly flow. You like northwesterly flow? That's not too bad. Usually it's raining and it's in flow. Here's a, a plotted sounding here. And we do have quite a bit of sin, but if we can get past that, we do have quite a bit of cake. So, this is again morning, so you just figure as you march through this, could you get the convective temperature and overcome that? And I thought, well, yeah, it's possible, especially with the boundaries. Okay, so here's some rap stuff. And you know, hey, uh, I don't particularly like country or western, but rap is fun. <laughs> so here we are with the. Uh, Bullseye, if you will, of capes. There's something going on there. A little string baby here. This is a cold front. Off flow boundary intersection. Now look at the dew points. Pooling there as well. Look at the MR mixing ratio, which is very similar. You can see some of the, the streamlines in here coming together. There's some convergence along that boundary there, folks. EHI, not too bad, much in the way of anything there. But you know, you've got a partial situation. The BS, not, not too good there. There's a lot of not So the her, what about the her? No, it's kind of a kind of a, a car jam there. It looked like uh, perhaps, go back here, perhaps we've got you know some cells seeding each other, perhaps a tail end Charlie cell here. You got all this oh, stuff here. Who knows? But it's close. Again, I'm incarcerated in Texas, so what can I do? And look at the supercell composite. What is this? 20? Is that for real? 11 and a half is what we need for the ordinary. It's you know, good stuff. So this is 20. Well, this is a slow signal. I don't know if that's a real value or if it's just you know, a diversion value that maybe somebody put that in SPC to fool. I don't know, but you know. <laughs> I'm not going to play it, okay? I didn't buy it, all right? I didn't go for it. It does have, of course, you're going to have some correspondence in the infrared tornado, but I figure I'd get close to the boundary. We'll see what happens. So 1230, too much is going on there. Here's my forecast. The rear, but from the surge south, we have convergence with the pressure. The storms are primed to fire from the east-west of the line. I'm going to try to be on the tail end chunk. There is obviously a lot of weakness there with the northwest flow, so 100 500. Storms are going to drift southeast from a horrible road. If you've ever gone to the hills and trees and hill country, horrible stuff. Hamilton, Texas. So SPC comes out with their potato here. Okay. So it's like, like there. And 5%. So I'm going to go for it. It's close to home. And this is again. Yeah, we've had three we've had popular main three albums here. This one, uh, the first one is my spaghetti plot blues. All right. The flip four, flop and four gas blues. And then, you know, kind of a parody of Taylor Swift. Hail gonna hurt, 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 hurt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I do All right, T Box issued at 4 p.m. for Central Texas in June. Fantastic. All right, here I am in Hamilton. Got the cell popping up. There is a boundary in here. It's tough to see on the radar, but there is a boundary. The cold front is well to the north. Well, that's what happens to this as you go through time. Here's my view from it from Hamilton. Beautiful. Getting south along the Updraft here, back shear, ample, fantastic. So now, 
it splits. There's a left split, there's a right split. You watch and see what happens to the left split here. I'm rowing south, I'm going to go right into the hook. Boom. The left split sits up here and dies. Meanwhile, I blast ahead of it, just get a little bit of precip, a few bunks of hail, and I'm, I'm, the storm is now to the east. I'm going to go down to Lampasas. Lampasas is down here. This is uh, 35, this is Highway 84, and Waco is up here. Excuse me. Now. Here's my view, first view I see. Hey, that doesn't look too bad for Central Texas, Tail and Charlie kind of thing. We've got this lowering here. Look to the northeast. I know it's weird for me to look at the northeast, but here's outflow here, here, O-ring, inflow here over here. Look at that hook. It's not only a flying eagle, it's, it's like bending over to the front. I'd like to see that. I get down to that passes, going then east on 190. Here we go. There's the hook. Ball. I'm getting there. I'm in the money. <laughs> so you think. Where's the reflectivity echo? Now, if you see this on radar, you know the storm is rotating. Do you know that there's a tornado there? What are the odds of a tornado, even given this kind of a beautiful feature? Think it's more than 50%? Think it's less than 50%? Much less than 50%. Hooks are almost really a dime a dozen out there. Try to get in the right spot, see what happens. There is convergence there, but there isn't really anything tightening up. All right, here's my view, looking to the north. Got this roaring from east to west circulation. And you know, there's a hail war up there, a forward flank downdraft. Right, there I am. Sweet. Broad, nothing happening. Hmm. This is the view to the west. Rain wrapped, low level circulation. I'm trying to see if there's anything coming into that. This is the action area for sure. The beaver tail was up here, roaring in. These cloud tags are moving to the southwest, rotating in. You look at this precip. Don't think of that as, oh, that's just a precip shaft. There's nothing there. That's the action area. And it was rotating in there. So I'm there. I can't find a road to the south. I would have to go through back and go up to the passes and then down one of these highways over here to get through there. And eventually I had to do that. So I'm up here. There it is. Beautiful. But again, looking at the radio velocity, broad scale. Not seeing much. I can see this. Look at this. You know, if there was a tornado in there, I wouldn't be able to see it. But that certainly is rotating in there. You can see the clear slot in here with the precip wrapping around it. Really nice visit. Just really tight. So I busted out of the back end. I didn't get much of the way. Hail went to the passes. Look at that. Six, eight of them. Eight of them. It's getting dark now. Midland passes. What is going on down here? Other storms are firing. Good thing or bad thing? Bad thing. Although you think. It is a bad thing because it's going to now be ingested in you. But one thing can happen. We've heard this a little bit talked about. And that's just this little tiny window. Once the cold air outflow from this cell comes on in to the superstar, you can force low-level convergence for a very brief time and get yourself a tornado before that window falls apart. So that was my biggest fear, was that, uh-oh, other cells are happening, you could force them. Maybe this looks a little bit interesting. I'm up here in my passes, look, looking southeast, and there is definitely some rain wrapping going on here. Something is starting to develop here. It's not really tight yet. Near Briggs, it's getting there. And then, I'm coming through this and a shower develops like you know a Truman show here and it rains right on top of me. So I can't really see what's going on here. And this cell comes up here and wraps into this thing. It's <laughs> <laughs> like uh, Ron Burgi man, you know, well that escalated quickly. Uh, there's something going on here west of Briggs, and then I start seeing uh, the images come across and the chasers. So I say, hey, you got yourself a tornado. And this is down at 821. And again, I'm just emerging right out of the precip. I said, I think I can see it. It's kind of dark, but I think I can see it. You know, and I go, oh, okay, what the heck is this out here? There's your tornado. It's out there. Look at the larger scale here. Look at the interaction. You have other cells with hooks here. You've got 
that tornado producing a storm right there. It, I don't think it would have produced a tornado had it been for those other cells. This is the infamous mesoscale accident. I hate mesoscale accidents. Especially when I'm in this rain shaft, this Truman Show rain shaft right there, and can't see what's happening. Yeah. Uh, Jason Cooley got this beautiful structure shot, and then Max has this fan wind. Hey, you guys get big bingo. Because that was a fantastic catch, and that's looking for the ways into the darkness, into the hills, and the trees. There's no doubt about it in my mind. When I saw the radar, and when I saw there, it's good enough for the weather service as well. That's, that's a tornado. Who knows how long that really stayed on the ground because it's only visible for a short time. So, in summary, this is it. Chase the tornado supercell that developed south of Hamilton. The storm initiated in the east west with the old outflow boundary. The tornado developed in the supercell, interacted with another storm in a mesoscale accident. The tornado moved actually southwest. Well, when the upper flow was from the northwest, it was like very similar to what the Gerald kind of storm was doing. So it shows once again that even central Texas, in the middle of June, marginal again. All right. Anyways, there you go. There's a forecast. Too bad. All right. So if you want to know what your real time what forecast is, it says right. I want to dedicate this talk to three friends who I lost this year. <clears throat> Last year, Tim Samaras, Carl Paul. This year, Ken Crawford, Jim Leonard, and Alan Waller are friends, are dear friends, not gone. But we always think and remember them as great storm chasers. Thank you very much, everybody. Roger, I'll hand it back to you.